All right, what is up guys? So we are back at the FPV testing facility, otherwise known as Simplot Park. And today we are going to be comparing the DJI air unit to the Caddx Vista. So my HD1 is running VAS Minion Pros and then the Vista is running the stock Cherry antenna. So they're not the same antenna. That kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, but but they're both like good aftermarket antennas with high gain for an Omni. So it should be pretty comparable. So it's kind of like the antenna test. I'm gonna fly down that way about a thousand feet and put the quads behind a row of trees and just we'll just compare bit rate. And then we might test range, we'll see. We'll see, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, so 200 milliwatt, low latency, focus mode on. Um, I figure that'll make it more obvious if there's like big differences. Um, temp control off, same camera settings. System on, ready to fly, engines armed. Recording. I'm actually flying both of these quads in 16 by 9 at about 80%. I figure since I'm just cruising, why not? And it's because it's just like so insanely immersive. Okay, so we'll go behind this row. Got some red bars. It's so crazy how digital handles these kinds of tests. Hey bird. All right, let's head back. Definitely felt some latency. So that was the HD1. Okay, so this is the CL1, and again, all same settings. Let's see how she does. What? What's up with that crossfire? Oh, red bars, feeling some latency. Let's do another pass. RF signal, no. I don't know what the hell's up with my crossfire, guys. That's weird. So, okay, definite. Oh God, am I gonna fail safe? What the frick? Um. Definitely felt like the Vista did worse. Pretty interesting. All right, so you guys saw it before me. I'm gonna check the DVR now, but it felt like the DVR did worse. What the hell's up with my crossfire? Let me check that real quick. Because my crossfire should be same settings on both quads. Yeah, same settings, 100, 100 milliwatt dynamic power. That was weird. Receiver still 
Okay, so, um, Air Unit seems to have, like, hands down won that test. Uh, Air Unit did 5 megabits on the first pass, and then 6.9 on the second pass, and then the Vista did 4 megabits on each pass. So it, you know, it lost more signal. And even with the antenna situation, it shouldn't matter that much because I'm flying perpendicular, so the antenna shouldn't be really blocked when I'm going past those trees. But even still, it uh, it I I'd, I'd say it definitely did worse in that instance. Um, I am gonna do a little bit of a range test though. I'm gonna send it out. I guess it's range and penetration because I can't even see the tree from here. But I'm gonna send it out to a tree down there that's about a quarter of a mile and we'll compare bit rate there too. Not sure what's going on with the crossfire. Um, so I turned off dynamic power and I turned off force 150 because you get worse range. Um, Cause my, my CO1 almost fail saved. It dropped pretty low, the RSSI. Um, <laughs> and it makes you and you can start to see, so I'm running at 100 milliwatt, you can start to see why people complained about the Tango 2 having 250. And, and again, it's probably a, a great park radio, but I'm only flying a thousand feet and I'm, I'm having to, you know, turn off the force 150 hertz. And I, I don't know if the dynamic power is causing me issues. I, I read that it's supposed to be fine now, but um, even at 100 milliwatts, I'm, I'm kind of struggling. So, I mean, you could see why people wished the Tango 2 went up to 500. You know what I mean? Anyway, still looks like a great travel radio. So anyway, we're going to um, we're gonna try a little bit of a range test. I believe this tree that I'm going to fly out to is about a quarter of a mile at 200 milliwatt. And, and yeah, we'll just compare bit right there. I think in this instance, the Vista is going to be at like a huge disadvantage because when I'm flying back, the antenna is going to be completely blocked by the LiPo. So, I mean, it, it should do worse in this instance. I mean, it probably will. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is the air unit. What? Quarter mile test. going out here so yeah I think I'm 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 having to like fight through some penetration too but it feels super laggy so we'll just fly back this uh you know this whole system is so cool guys because I'm flying in 16 by 9 which I don't normally but you know you you like you have those options so you can mix it up switch to CL1. Just make sure my crossfire is all set up the same. Signal still dropping in the crossfire. Okay, not as bad. Oh. Yeah, definitely felt worse in the Vista there, too.
All right, let's check the DVR. Receiver still connected. Shut up. All right, guys, so, um, yeah, in the second test, the quarter mile test, the, the Vista definitely did worse there. So I saw six something for the air unit and then like 3.1 for the Vista. But again, that's probably to be expected with the way the antenna's mounted. But in the first test with just the wall of trees, the antenna mounting shouldn't have really mattered. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. You know, maybe that's the difference between the single antenna and the dual antennas. But yeah, just in, in general RF performance outdoors with trees, the Vista is definitely doing worse. Um, I mean, I think that's pretty um, pretty definitive. But then again, it's probably not that big of a deal for like when you compare like the space savings and the weight savings, at least for like a race quad or a freestyle quad. Now for long range, maybe you'll still want to go with the air unit. I don't really plan on testing that because neither one of these quads has GPS. So, I mean, don't even ask. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm gonna do that. So yeah, there you have it. I think maybe for for long range or, or really heavy tree environments, maybe the air unit will still be better. But I, I definitely love the Vista for the weight savings and the space savings. I mean, but you know, we kind of expected that with the Vista, there would be some downsides. Um, it's it's not multipath. I mean, we saw in the multipath test that performance was basically equal. But for, again, for like general outdoor flying with trees and range, you're probably still gonna get better signal with the air unit and the dual antenna setup. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, any complaints? Leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.